introduction welding is a common process for joining metals using a large variety of applications welding occurs in several locations from outdoor setting on rural farms and construction sites to inside locations such as factories and job shops welding processes are fairly simple to understand and basic techniques can be learned quickly welding is the joining of metals at a molecular level a weld is a homogeneous bond between two or more pieces of metal where the strength of the welded joint exceeds the strength of the base pieces of metal shielded metal uh, arc welding as now also known as manual metal arc welding is a manual arc welding process that uses a consumable and protected electrode as the electrode melts, a cover that protects the electrode melts and protects the well area from oxygen and other atmospheric gas. With this method, the porosity is often not visible without the use of advanced non-destructive testing methods. And this defect usually strongly affects the strength and the quality of the well. Objective First, excellent understanding of safety procedures. Second, experience working as part of a team in a workshop environment. Third, strong professional communication skill. Fourth, understanding of architectural and structural engineering. Five, intensive experience practicing critical thinking and problem solving. Six, background in the construction field. 7. Strong Special Awareness Abilities And the last is Confident Using Welding Equipment Safely and Effectively Methodology for Safety First, we must use ear protection, boots and gloves, fire-resistant clothing, respiratory and welding helmet with side shield. Welding machine that we choose to use for our project, Shell Metal Art Welding Small, also known as stick welding, is a manual operation with a metal rod at the center using a flat coat consumable electrode. Small arch welding or stick welding use the head of the arc to melt a consumable electrode base, metal and tape. An electrical circuit or welding circuit contains the electrode and base metal. For this project, we will use small because of it will be easy and suitable for our design project. The second include first power supply, alternative current AC weld and direct current DC weld, welding cables, electro holder, ground clamp, pile, protective shield, wire brush and hammer, and lastly glove. For the process. We have seven steps which is safety, get the equipment that you need, clean metal, set up workpiece, welding, clean metal, and clean workplace. For the first step is safety. The first and most important thing to consider while using any sort of welder is safety. Not only in the electricity required for out welding is extremely hot, but it also generates dangerous UV light that can easily damage your eyes if you look directly at it. Step 2. Get the equipment that you need. Before you start welding, you will need to make sure you have all the tools required for the project at hand. Plier, chipping hammer, wire brush, grinder, wood cutting, grinding, wire wheels, clamps, magnet, step measure, metal ruler, and the welder. Step 3 is clean metal. Clean metal with wire brush, grinder, or even better, a grinder with a wire wheel. Removing contaminants such as rust or paint will drastically increase the quality of your welds. Step 4 Set up workpiece. Making sure the pieces that intend to wear are secured in the exact position. You plan on welding them, extremely important. Welding loose materials can lead to countless mistakes and can add and wait to extra work to you so make sure to double and triple check your workpiece before you lay down your first tag weld. Step 5 is welding. After choosing the desired welding setting then turn on the welder. Be careful not to touch the electrode 
to the workpiece or work table until ready to straighten out. Then, strike an arc with long stretching motion of the electrode across the workpiece. Finally, of the weld, quickly lift the electrode away from the workpiece. Step 6 is clean metal. Our project will have some necessary metal after welding. You must use grinder and make it clean. You also can use sandpaper for more safety of your project. Lastly, is step 7 which is clean workplace. Clean up the area you were running at and put all the equipment back wherein you discovered them. This will make your subsequent welding station all of the extra efficient. For the result, function of the laundry hanger. First, A. Dry heavy clothes. It has two layers racks for drying heavy clothes which really used to things that need wide length such as blanket, back sheet, towel and many more. Okay, B. Hook hanger. There are two hooks available for hanging hangers as it is for special clothes such as shirts and trousers. C. Dry small things. This part was designed for small things or things that cannot be hanged such as socks, boots, shoes and others. And the last one is D, easy to move. It has four casters wheels so it becomes more convenient to move from one place to another. Discussion number one, size of laundry hanger. The size of laundry hanger influence our choice. Example 3 is chosen because the large size of the rack compared to the other two. The width of the rack 90cm and the length is 220cm. The laundry hanger gives the user large space to dry their clothes. Not only that, this laundry hanger also has shoe rack at the bottom which was designed inclined suitable the design of a shoes. Small thing like sock would also suitable. Discussion number two, dur durability of laundry hanger. One of the important thing when choosing a laundry hanger is the durability. The durability in terms of a look. The example two and three has fine durability but not as good as example three. The material used in example 2 and example 1 is stainless steel while the example 3 use metal which have long life span and apply a protective coating avoid the rust. The rust. The laundry hanger can accommodate large number of clothes. It is because it can make the user hang a lot of clothes at a time. This laundry hanger use small welding as it has strong connection link the part. Discussion number 3 The quality design of laundry hanger One of the important thing when choosing a laundry hanger is the durability. The durability in terms of a load. The example 2 and 3 has fine durability but not as a good as example 3. The material used in example 2 and example 1 is stainless steel while the example 3 use metal which which have long lifespan and apply a protective coating avoid the rust. This laundry hanger can accommodate large number of clothes. It is because it can make the user hang a lot of clothes at a time. This laundry hanger use small welding as it has strong connection link the part. In the conclusion, the objective can achieve well to do the practical welding. The student must have skill to do the welding, use the knowledge and understanding of the theories, and also welding technique are applied in the practical welding. The practical tasks have been complete, and the report will accomplish to prove the student can be can be do the practical task of shielded metal. Up welding small and gas metal up welding G mount. And based on this report, we can learn how to using welding equipment safely and effectively. Besides that, we can learn the method to understanding of safety procedure and experience working as part of a team in a workshop environment. Lastly, we also get understanding of architectural and structural engineering and we also learn 
to expert our communication